Hi everyone, welcome back to Lair Academy, it's Mickey again, and in this tidbit lesson, we're going to be taking a quick look at the encryption methods that Laravel offers. We will check out how we can utilize them within our own models so that our database fields are encrypted automatically for us. We will be starting off with the Laravel 5.4 project, and I have already gone ahead and created the migrations for our customer table. We'll have name, email, phone, and address and I've already created a simple model for this customer. Now, as you know, if we load up Tinker, we can quickly add a customer into our database. Let's do that now. And once we have all the information for our customer, we'll create the record. And you can see here, everything's just in plain text. Let's take a quick look at the Laravel encrypt and decrypt functions to see how this can work. First, let's grab the first customer. And what we're gonna do with this first customer is let's use the encrypt helper function. So in Tinker, let's write the word encrypt, and then let's pass the customer's name into the function. Once we hit enter here, we should see the encrypted value for John Smith. If we wanted to test our encryption, we can assign the encrypted value to a variable, and then we could just run the helper decrypt on that variable. Once we hit enter, once again, we'll just see John Smith in plain text. So we know encrypt and decrypt is working. However, what it's actually doing, it is serializing their string for us automatically. This is something we don't need, and the reason that it's doing it is so we can encrypt and decrypt arrays and objects. What we can use is a simple encrypt string and decrypt string. Now these are not part of Laravel's helper functions, but we can import them with a facade. Also, we don't want to have to encrypt and decrypt each of our variables that we're passing in. So we can write a mutator within our model to do this for us. Let's switch over to our customer.php. Let's make a new function. And this function is going to be called set name attribute. The function accepts a value, and this is the value that we're going to encrypt. Now when we write mutators, when we're setting something, we always have to start with the word set, followed by the field name, and then the word attribute. So like I said before, we're going to automatically set the name to be encrypted. To do this, we have to change the attributes on the model. So we can refer to the model as this, followed by attributes, and what attribute we want to edit. In this case, it's going to be name. We're also going to be using the crypt facade, and we'll have to import that in a second. And the function we're going to use is encrypt string. Let's encrypt the value. And before we can use this facade, let's import at the top. All right, so let's save everything and switch back to Tinker. Let's give this a try. Now that we're back in Tinker, we can truncate our customer table. We can do this with app customer truncate to get rid of our old records. Now let's load up our old customer and just create them. Now you should see something different right away. The name is encrypted automatically for us, and this is exactly what we want. If we take our first customer from our database, which happens to be John Smith, and we try to run the decrypt helper function on the name itself, we're going to run into an error. And you can see here it's trying to unserialize that string. And because we're using encrypt string, it's not actually going to be serialized and we're going to run into a problem. Luckily, in Laravel, we could just use decrypt string and we can decrypt the name back to its original format, which in our case is going to be John Smith. Now just like before, we don't want to have to decrypt the string each time we want to use it. Well, luckily in Laravel, we have a setter and we also have a getter. So we can make a new function, which is get name attribute, and the name attribute also accepts the value. And just like the set, we're going to be returning the value, except we're going to be returning the decrypt string. So we'll say crypt, decrypt string, and then pass in the value. In order to test everything out, let's switch back to PHP Artisan. Make sure you reload it if you haven't. We're gonna grab the first customer, and then let's access the name attribute. You can see that Laravel has automatically decrypted the name from the encrypted value. Now there's a couple things to know about encryption. Inside our ENB, we have an app key. If we were to change this app key using something like PHP Artisan key generate, we are no longer able to decrypt our original values. So if we come back into our customer, grab the first customer and try to access the name, we're gonna see an error here. 
and that is because the key that we were using was changed. So make sure that when you're encrypting values that you store your key somewhere. The other thing to watch out for inside Tinker, if we load up the first customer, you'll notice that the name is only decrypted once we actually call it. So if we are using our data for JSON or JavaScript, you'll want to write some kind of function where the name is going to be automatically decrypted for us. We could probably do this with the transform, but we'll save that for another lesson. Hopefully that will give you a start on encryption and decryption within Laravel, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.